Hey everybody, this is Kasu. Welcome to another Seeds Hybrid video. This time, we'll be going through all of the Type 3 hybrids. Without further ado, let's begin. First up is the Critopeltosaurus, which is a hybrid between the Dunkleosteus and the Ichthyosaurus. So, what can it do? Well, first off, uh, obviously, it can swim pretty decently fast. Its left click attack is a bite attack that deals a quite a significant damage. Its right click is a harvesting bite. However, I have to find something to harvest first. Example, this oil vein here. Yep. And according to the wiki, uh, not wiki, according to the uh, the website, uh, it says that it harvests more than a Dunkleo Steers does. So basically you can get a better version of a Dunkleo without you know going through the trouble of trying to train a Dunkleo in the first place. And that is the Critopeltosaurus. Quite a nice name too by the way. Up next let's uh, up next let's go with the carnivores. The first carnivore I'll go to is this guy, the Dimetrosaurus. The, the Dimetrosaurus is a mixture between the Megalosaurus and the Dimetrodon. Its left click is a bite attack that deals quite a significant amount of damage. Additionally, once you once I kill this guy, once it's dead and I harvest his corpse, it has the same rapid regen as the Argentavis. Right click is a raw. Uh, doesn't really do any debuff or anything, but it's just a nice little raw. C key is a grab attack. Similar to the Megalosaurus, and from what I understand, uh, it is just a Megalosaurus that doesn't really sleep. Additionally, it is almost as fast as a Gallimimus, according to the wiki. And that is the Dimetrosaurus. Up next is the Taurosaurus, or the Caper Saber. It is the saber tooth mixed with the Caprosuckers. So for his left click, it is a regular fight attack. And his jump is a leap forward. And not it's not vertically but more horizontally. His right click is a claw attack. That doesn't really do anything but just a normal just a more weak bite. His C key uh, is a grab. So it can carry yeah, basically it can carry creatures in his mouth, but it can carry more than a Capro Suckers. How much more? I'm um, not too sure. If you want to take a... If you want to test out and comment down below, please feel free to do so. And the last key is the X key, which is Amphibious Regen. So this is a lesser health regen, but more of a great, uh, great stamina regen, and it also boosts Swim Seed. So let's test, out it. let's test it out without the buffers. In the water, it swims decently, decently, not that bad. Now let's test out with the amphibious. Yep, it swims, not significantly, but you can feel it's faster. So this is your, this is pretty much a good, a two-dimensional creature where you can swim pretty decently fast along with uh, running on land equally fast. So this has been the Torvo Suckers. Up next is the Trico Tricodosaura, which is a mixture between the Allosaurus and the Deodon, or how they like to call it, the Alode. So this essentially is a better version of the Deodon, where it is, um, nope, not this one, it is tankier, naturally tankier at level 1 has a lot more food than the Deodon at level 1 and if I'm not wrong deals more damage at level 1 so its left click as you can see is a standard fight attack its right click is a heal similar to the Deodon so this is basically a good uh, a good replacement for the Deodon in terms of boss fight and that is the Trichodosaurus Sora. Up next is this guy, the Terra Raptor. The Terra Raptor is a mixture between a Raptor and the Terra Bird. So, 
What makes this different from a Terrigal or a Raptor? Well, first click is a fight attack that is similar to a Raptor but a lot more noisy as you can tell. Should probably reduce the volume on that. His right click is Crushing Bite which grabs smaller creatures and crushes in their beak. Uh, how much smaller creatures? Uh, let's find something a bit tankier, like that mouse shop there. Oh, doesn't really look like it works on the mouse shop. Let's try on the Dil Dilophosaurus and see what it, how it works. Yep, so it's basically a Raptor Plus. And his C key is a raw. Yep. And that is the <coughs> Terra bird or Terra Raptor, sorry. Up next is this disgusting creature here. The Aria the Araniacus uh, or the Snailer. This is basically a Akatina or the snail mixed with the Aranio or the spider. So what can you do? Well, First off, uh, the ca the camera angle is a bit on the weirder side of things. Secondly, his first attack is a bite attack. Doesn't seem like it increases topper. In fact, let me try out by summoning a raptor. Okay. Yep. Oh, it, it, it inflicts very slight topper. Like very slow building topper. So not really recommended for taming. Right click is an acid slime ball attack. And when acid ball it is basically slower and it also does significant amount of damage. Like it hits multiple times. So that's pretty good. And lastly uh, is C key. C key, yeah, oops, sorry. C key is a lunge attack. So what does it do? Let's try that again. It deals quite a significant amount of damage. So this produces, and also from notes he said it produces cementing paste like a snail would. So you have to put it on wandering. So this is a very good replacement for the snail. Up next is this guy, the Arjun Jara, which is a mixture between the Arjun Tervis and the Tape Jara. So, uh, as you can see it just walks like one. But upon flight, as you can tell, it's pretty, it's pretty mobile. Similar to the Tape Jara, it can move back, front, uh, up, down, pretty well. And it flies uh, almost as... It basically has a like, stamina of a Arjun Tervis along with the speed and... Rotation? And maneuverability of a Tape Jara. So let's uh, go on with his uh, abilities. So left click is a standard bite attack. Yep. And right click is a grab attack. Where it can carry more than a Pterodon, but less than an Arjun Tervis. So it's your best of both worlds. A speed faster than an Arjun Tervis, but a uh, carry weight lesser than a uh, lesser than Arjun Tervis. Up next is the Pelagosuckers, which is a mixture between the Pelagonis and the Caprosuckers. So upon flight, you can tell it's uh, pretty fast, and once in the water, it moves. Almost equally fast, or well, it slows down eventually. But this is this makes it a pretty good uh, what's the word? A pretty good uh, 3D maneuvering where you can go 3D maneuvering creature where you can go both sky, land, and uh, sea. So it's left click. It's a standard bite attack. His right click. Once I can fly to a dodo bird. It's a grab. And lastly, his C key is a leap attack. And from my understanding, this leap attack can be used both on land and ground. So I'm gonna use it on ground first. Where it will lunge and hit like and hit as so. And for flying. While flying, you can just press C and you will dash forward and also do it. So it's a pretty good way to increase uh, manu uh, increase your movement speed. However, uh, it does take a lot of stamina. And also the leap attack also inflicts a stamina draining debuff. 
similar to the couple suckers from what I understand, from what I remember. And that is the Pelago suckers. Up next is this guy, the Haplo Scarab. It is a mixture between the Dung Beetle and the Fiomia, which is kind of a weird mix. And it's not really a strong combatant, as you can see it's quite it's not exactly very fast. However, its left click is a bite attack. Its uh, right click, on the other hand, it's a bit disgusting, uh, and you, as I, I will show you now. Its right click is a poop spray, which spills lethal feces onto the enemy's face, and it, it basically inflicts uh, DOT along with proper increase. Kind of disgusting. A C key is a raw. And lastly, it does produce this particular feces, which is a nutrient rich feces. Basically, if you don't want to you want to skip the whole fertilizer phase, this is your next best thing. And that is the Hapelo Haplo Scarab. And last of all is the Nightmare Fuel called the Arachnopithecus uh, or the Spider Monkey, which is the Mesopithecus and the Aranio. Uh, so his left click is a Pierce Attack, which I'm gonna try out on this guy here. And he can jump pretty high, like really really high. So his left click is a attack. And the note says that it has a chance to deal Two times damage in one hit, but I'm not seeing it. In fact, let's try on the that guy. Let's try on that uh that triceratops. Okay, there you go. Still one. I don't see two. Well, I don't know. I don't sure whether it, it there's two values of it or not. But ah, okay. Doesn't see, I don't see it, I still don't see the difference, but uh, yep. Yeah, so apparently, they say it has a chance of hitting twice in one second, but I have slapped up multiple times and it's not working. Uh, next up is right click, which is a web spray attack. Uh, basically, it deals the web effect while you know being a spider monkey. And last one, once I kill this triceratops. Last one is Radar Vision, which is the C key. Upon pressing it, um, I'm sure of what it does, but I think it, I think it will work if I off the Spyglass and I press the Radar Vision again. Yep. So the Radar Vision basically highlights creatures for you. Uh, this works especially well if you're you know trying to figure out is there anything hiding nearby. So yeah, this is the Mesopithecus. And that is the end of the Type 3 hybrids for 6 hybrid. In the next video, I'll go through the Type 2 hybrids for 6 hybrid. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope to see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye!